Maximus, you know what we just got? What did we just get? A really good shot. Yeah, it's an artist cock. We're going on a mushroom walk. First Ooh. step, we're going up there. We can walk through the woods this way until we reach the creek where the good mushrooms typically are. Wait, what's that? Here we are on the hunt I for always mushrooms. Forget. As Julia descends upon these oyster <laughs> mushrooms in the wild woods of New York. Fungi may seem unlikely, even dangerous organisms with which to form a partnership. We can see the wild Julia, pink pixie, in her element. Yeah. This is gonna be a kick ass dinner tonight. Yeah, it is. There's a whole bunch of these. And she caught it. She made the kill. Mushrooms descending upon the wild puffball we see here growing on this fallen tree. And the temptation is irresistible. All right, so here's how I'm gonna check to make sure that they're still good. Break them open, all white on the inside. a good stick. Tommy in life. Ba bam That's such a good shot. Ooh, the puff balls. Yeah, puff balls just all over that tree. Oh wow, that is a lot of puff balls. Wait, oh holy what? shit! <laughs> up here. Lion's mane. Look out how many mushrooms are on this tree. We've got these, which I think the genus is foamies, and then we've got these puffballs here, and then we have lion's mane here, all growing on this standing dead trees. This is so beautiful. Still, it's still good. You might want to cut off some of the brown parts, but... Wow. Okay, I'll go ahead and get that. Oh, it's so beautiful. These ones are growing out of this mushroom. My life is so good. And then, why haven't we gone mushroom hunting in Virginia before? Uh, I don't know, because maybe I like have a weird life at Twin Oaks. That's true. <laughs> That's very true. Oh, at Eastman, there was a relationship I had with a woman who had a kid, and me and this kid would go out into the woods all the time. Usually for goat herding, but we also went mushroom hunting while we would herd goats. And this kid's favorite mushrooms were puffballs. There's a special place in my heart for puffballs. And they're good. I think when you deep fry them, you yeah. burn them and fry them, it tastes kind of like, like fish, like a fish ball. I hear, I hear that people think oyster mushrooms taste similar to fish, which is why they get the name oyster mushrooms. I don't really think they taste too much like fish, though. I mean, who knows why things are named what they're named. Yeah, I think that maybe they named oranges before they discovered carrots? <laughs> what do you call this thing? An orange, it's orange. What about these things? Oh shit, I don't know. Long pointies? Something I noticed about 
logs that grow puffballs is they will keep producing puffballs for a very long time. I had a regular puffball log that it kept fruiting for like two and a half years. Mm -hmm. If there are puffballs here right now, there will be puffballs here later. Wow. Hey, yeah, yeah. most likely anyway. Oh, the distant sounds of mushroom joy. Oh my god, it's so beautiful! And Those do look like chanterelles. Yes, they do. He said he hadn't seen any here before. So this one is our nice hygrophoritis, like Carius hygrophoritis. I'm so happy! <laughs> Mushrooms! <laughs> Oh yeah, look, classic pigskin. So this is a classic pigskin puffball. If you cut open a puffball and it is not pure white on the inside, it is not an edible puffball. I love mushrooms so much you don't understand. <laughs> The mycelium's gotten to your brain. Oh yeah, I inhaled too many spores. After a long afternoon of tromping through the woods, the wild Julia... <laughs> She'll need to be careful. A fall from here would mean certain death. <laughs> Fuck me! Chickens like puffballs? Do they? So what I'm doing here, I just put out a bunch of cast irons and we're gonna cook the different species of mushroom in different cast iron. Sample. Holy crap. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> it's so fucking good. Yeah. I'm really, really. <laughs> Watching. This has been super great making videos here with Julia and Maximus. I personally have been so grateful to have been a part of this process. This whole process opens up the doors to community for us to connect with one another. And this super important work is completely funded by our Patreons who we are thankful for. Speaking of our patrons, we have these two artist conks, Ganoderma a plantum, forgive my Latin. They are carved by me personally. Here they are. <laughs> These are limited edition and they're available to our next two patrons. If you sign up to support us on Patreon in hopefully like today, like then five minutes from now, there's a good chance that you will get one of these two artist conks. They're super cool, have a commune life memento forever. Check us out.